I do want to take a minute to say a few words about the passing of Chief Justice Ralph Gantz. Like everybody, I was shocked and deeply saddened to learn about his passing, and he was clearly taken from us far too soon. He spent his entire 40-year legal career dedicated to justice and to the integrity of law. He was an exceptional leader, an incredibly hard worker, and somebody who led the court with honor and distinction. And those who had the privilege of working with him or going in front of him when he was a judge all spoke about his brilliance, but also about his sense of humor, his grace, his kindness, and his thoughtfulness. He was someone who loved his work on the court, but more importantly, somebody who simply loved the role, the point, and the purpose of the judiciary. His colleagues across the board had the utmost respect for him, which he earned day after day after day over the course of that career, and were deeply fond of him, and it's not hard to see why. He was one of those people who every day put the public good first. He leaves behind a legacy as a jurist and as a public servant that is unparalleled. And I know I speak for our administration and especially for the folks on our team who spend significant amount of time dealing with the court, that we will all miss him very, very much. We've also ordered the American flag of the Commonwealth of Mass and the Commonwealth of Mass flag to be lowered to half staff until further notice to honor his legacy. Our thoughts and prayers, of course, are with his wife, Debbie, his two children, the rest of his family, his colleagues, and his friends. You know, um, he's 65 years old. Played soccer practically every weekend. And was one of those people who just radiated energy, kinetic energy. I mean, you spend any time at all around him, and the guy was alive. And I mean really alive in every sense of that word, which is why I think for those of us who've worked with him and know him, this was such a shocking and in some ways overwhelming event. And even after he, I mean, the Lieutenant Governor and I talked about this after it was announced about 10 days ago that he had a heart attack. I mean, we both talked about the fact that the only question in our mind was how long it would be before he was back presiding as chief of the SJC again. The whole idea that we could be approaching the last 10 days of his time with us here on Earth was a preposterous notion if you knew him. And I know I speak for so many when I say that um, that's a really bright light that just went out. And, uh, and we here in Massachusetts are so much better for his presence and his work, but boy, is he going to be missed.